today we are going to start a new unit and the very first thing I want us to do is take a look at the vocabulary words uh, for this unit. Now, we have been reading all kinds of marine life. We've talked about special features that uh, fish and marine life have. We've talked about being in groups and what's the benefit of doing that. And today we are going to talk about, uh, we're going to start talking about how um, we help marine life to survive, okay? So, let's take a look at our vocabulary words. And we're gonna go through and rate those, just like what we usually do. How well do you know this word, okay? So you've got a one, which means that you have never heard or seen the word, and you've got that all the way up to the four, which means that you know what the word is and you can define it, Use it in a sentence if you have to, okay? Hunter, sit up for me. All right, so let's look at the first word. Raise your hand if you could tell me what that first word is. All right, Aiden. Device. Device. Go ahead and rate that. How well do you know what that word is? Oh, this answer's there. Some of these words I'm kind of iffy about too. I'm not for sure if I really know the definition. I would have rated myself on a three or a two on some of these. We will learn these words together as we start reading our next story, okay? So, we're not gonna do anything with these at this point. As we read our story, we know we always look for these words and we add those definitions to our page. Okay. So in this lesson, you will distinguish your own point of view from that of the author of the text. So during these next few lessons, we are going to learn and practice Locating author's purpose in the story. Our focus question. How do people help sea animals survive? So look at your focus question. How do people help sea animals survive? And we talked a little bit about that already uh, in our previous stories, but we're gonna focus on one animal, uh, especially today, and that's a manatee. How many of you know what a manatee is? Do you know what a manatee is, Micah? Um, it kind of looks like a seal. It does, doesn't it? They're a little bit different. I remember how we talked about that some animals or some sea life wasn't just, it didn't just belong to the fish group. What other animal group did we say that some of the um, marine life belonged to? Oh, wait a minute. All right, Micah. Wait a minute. Whales, what other group does a whale belong to? They're not a fish, they are a... We talked about it. Mammal. They are a mammal. Well, guess what? A manatee is a mammal also, which means where do they breathe? In their lungs. In their lungs. So they have to pop up like a dolphin and breathe air and then come back. And breathe air and then come back down and breathe again. You're correct. So they, do. they have to come up for air and then they can go back down. Now, can they stay underwater for long periods of time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they can. So, have you ever seen, seen a sea animal? And what was the experience like? Okay. Have you ever seen a sea animal? Back with a wild Oh, wow. Where did you do that? Look at our three stories that we have. What's our first story, Hunter? Uh, and what's the next word? Manatees? Heroes. Hmm. Hmm. All right, their next story, Kira. Ooh, and we've talked a little bit about whales. All right, so on the back of your um, vocabulary sheet, I want you to flip it over, and we're gonna take just a few seconds I want you to jot down what do you notice. And remember, notice are things that you see. What is visual? What are things you see? And then I want you to jot down, try to jot down one question. What is something that you wonder? And remember, wonder is our question. So notice is what you see, and wonder is your question. Sort getting your thoughts down on paper. Now, I'm gonna play your music. You're gonna walk around. 
You're gonna high five your partner and stand and what? Face the board, okay? Everybody ready? Kira, can you push your chair under so we don't fall? All right, are you ready? turn and face the board. Now, if you are on this side, you are partner. If you're on this side, you are What I want you to do, and I'm going to give you 15 seconds to talk to your partner about what was something that you noticed in the picture. Okay? That's the only thing you're going to talk to your partner about. Something you noticed. Okay? And you have 15 seconds. What should partner A be doing as partner B speaking? Listening. Listening. And you should be looking at the I notice that they're all in the water. Partner A, you are going to share what you wonder, okay? So look at what you wonder. If you did not have anything, then I want you to talk about things that you might already know about what we're going to read, okay? Any questions? Ready? All right, partner A, it's your turn. I know why you killed And let's just briefly talk about what you learned. If you're partner A, you should know what your partner B noticed in the picture. They could raise their hand and tell me what did their partner notice? Kira, what did Cheyenne notice? Ooh, yes, it was. All right, so get your feet prepared. We're doing our vote for the day. You vote for which text you are most interested in. Which one do you think you will enjoy reading? Everybody got their feet ready? No. All right, get your feet ready. All right, so the Manatees Heroes. Who is interested in that vote with your feet in the air? No one's interested in that one. Okay. What about follow these wells? Anyone interested in that? Get your feet in the air, Micah. Put those feet up there, Micah Paxton Hunter. Good job. All right, and what about saving sea turtles? Ooh, I have a lot of people in here. All right, so let's go back. Let's look at page 134. We have a little bit, we have some word sorts on the bottom there, okay? So let's look at what it wants us to do. You're going to circle the words that belong in the group, things that help sea animals. So if it is something that would help a sea animal, you're going to circle it. If it is something that can hurt sea animals, you're going to draw a line through it. You're just going to strike it out, okay? Now, everybody wait a minute. If it's something that helps, you do what? Circle it. Circle. If it's something that hurts, draw, draw a line. Draw a line thread. Freeze. Look at me. Get all directions first. Once you are done, I want you to turn and talk to someone at your table and see what they have circled and what they have uh, marked out and why. Things that help sea animals. Do some shout outs. What do you got? Okay. Freedom. So why would freedom help a sea animal? Friendly. Alright, so my next one is things that can hurt a sea animal. And I heard a lot of debate on this. I heard some questions. Hunter, what was one that you had? Um And what are predators? They are like something that hurts on the Okay, so if I was to show you a picture of this, would this be a predator or a prey? Predator. Could be a predator, but could it be a prey? So notice at the bottom of the page you have a stop and discuss, and you have that on the back 
It's underneath of your wonder and your notice. The first one is how does the Manatee Conservation Center help manatees and what is its goal, okay? Now, what's the first thing we do before we ever read? Corbin. We look at our vocabulary words. So Corbin, what's my first word? Tragedy. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Corbin, what is that? A very sad event. Very sad event, a tragedy. And you're gonna see how that's used in the reading that you're gonna have. Now, I'm gonna pick a person from each group, then you're gonna popcorn read. That person will pick the next person, and then you'll pick the next person. Remember, you don't pick somebody uh, that has already read until everybody's had a chance. Now, if you're not reading, what should you be doing? Following. Following, tracking, okay? So Brindley, I'm gonna let you be first over here, and you need to be listening, and Brindley, you could get your group started. Once you get to the bottom, I want you to answer your stop and discuss, okay? Over here, Grant, I'm gonna let you be the first person, and then you pick your name. Table, I want you to discuss. What did you come up with? What does the Manatee Conservation Center, or how does All right, so what's their main goal? Because like someone said earlier, their natural habitat is the best place. Like, what were the details that you found, okay? Now, some of you may have found four, but you only had to find three. Let's discuss and see what you came up with. So who would like to start, okay? All right, Corbin, we'll let you. Amen. One detail. Okay, that's important. It must be healthy and it must be able to find its own food. Okay, so what would happen if it couldn't find its feed? It would be